G'day, g'day YouTube. Today we're going to do a bit of a discussion about the differences between the Bafang M500 and Bafang M600. So both motors come from Bafang. They're both torque sensing mid-drive e-bike motors. So a torque sensing mid-drive e-bike motor is one that senses your pedal input and provides some sort of multiplication to give you a boost on the trail. Now the M500 is a 250 watt motor and the M600 is a 500 watt motor. The M500 was designed to be legal compliant with European and Australian standards and as such is limited to 25 kilometers per hour. The M600 on the other hand is limited to 40 kilometers per hour. The M500 is nominally 250 watts but it will provide peaks of up to about 600 watts. On this bike, there's five different power settings, level one through to five. Level one is what I'm riding in at the moment, and it just adds a little bit of boost just to take the edge off the extra weight of an e-bike. However, you can certainly ride the e-bike on level zero. You do notice the weight, but there's very little drag from the motor. Level two, you start to notice a bit of a push from the motor, but it's a very efficient setting. Level three, things start to get a little bit more fun. The speed picks up, the power increases. On level three, the motor pulls about 400 to 450 watts, and you really notice the kick from the motor. Level four is a lot of fun, and level five, is the most fun. However, it also draws the most current from the battery. So level four and five, you really notice that it's the motor doing the work rather than you. Battery life on the M500 is really up to the rider. If you ride around on level two or level one even, you could probably squeeze in a 70 to 80 kilometer single track ride. Whereas on level three, and level four, you're of course going a lot faster, using more power, depending on how aggressive you're riding. But the key here is, if you're putting in a lot of assistance, you'll use less power. Currently, I'm climbing this hill in level two, and it's getting up perfectly fine. but I'm still working, which is really what e-bikes are all about. So the M600 is ideal for trails and open tracks where you can really get a little bit more speed. The M600 will draw a lot more power. The M600 tops out at about 1200 watts versus the M500, which tops out at about 600 watts. So when the power is required, it'll really give it to you. And this sort of power level is good for cruising at greater than 35 kilometers per hour. It'll even maintain 40 kilometers per hour, which on a trail like this is a lot of fun. One of the biggest differences between the M500 and the M600 motor is the sound. The M500 is really a very quiet motor. On the trails, it's very unobtrusive people don't hear you coming until you're right up on top of them and that's because it uses a form of engineering plastic inside the motor for the drive gears the m600 on the other hand uses a steel gear inside the motor and therefore is quite loud however it is certainly not the loudest e-bike on the market compared to perhaps a yamaha e-bike motor the bafang m600 is about the same, if not quieter. Similarly, the Shimano 8000 series e-bike motor is also quite loud. The M600 is probably a little bit louder. Physically, the M500 and M600 share the same mounting format, so they'll both fit in the same bike. The M600 is a little bit heavier 
and just a little bit wider but when riding you don't notice it since the Q factor or the distance between the cranks is the same for both bikes. The M600 electrical motor is a little bit wider which is why there is more weight. The M600 on level 1 is roughly equivalent to riding the M500 on level 3. Immediately the power is there whether you want it or not and you can already feel even on level 1 that the bike is doing most of the work. Level 2 and 3 are incremental steps adding more power and 4 or 5 to be honest is probably much more power than you need for a single track like this. The other factor to consider is that the M600 uses a lot more power than the M500 which will affect your battery range particularly if you're using the 450 watt hour battery. Like anything, it's a trade-off. You want to go fast, you pay the price for power consumption. With an M600, the 600 watt hour battery is ideal. It gives you more range and allows you to ride further and faster. Whereas an M500 with the 450 watt hour battery offers still significant range if you're putting in pedal effort, but allows you to keep the weight low. The weight difference between the M500 with the 450 watt hour battery and the M600 with the 600 watt hour battery probably about between a kilogram and 1.5 kilograms so the weight difference isn't huge but if you don't need the weight the M500 should satisfy your requirements but if you want a longer range using the 600 watt hour battery regardless of whether you've got the M500 or the M600 motor will increase your range it doesn't change the power output that each motor provides. The settings that come on these motors from Bafang cannot be edited by the user. The user can adjust through the display how many power setting levels they have, choosing from 3, 5 or 9 power settings. You cannot edit the current or the power consumption through the display or change the wheel diameter to trick the display into changing its speed limits. There is a tool available from Bafang called the Best Tool, which allows you to change the firmware and change the wheel diameter and speed limits on these motors. And this can be provided by the manufacturer or by the bike supplier. Accounts need to be created to log into the software. Pedal response from the M500 or the M600 is certainly on par with either the Shimano, the Broza, the Yamaha, or the Bosch motors from other manufacturers. It's smooth, it feels quite natural, so when you pedal, it gives you the boost that you need. But if you don't pedal, it's certainly not going to give you anything. It really comes down to what the rider wants. Do they want to go faster on open trails? Or do they want to go further on tight trails with less weight? Like anything in the mountain bike industry, it depends on what you want to do. And sometimes the best option, maybe, get both. Why not get the M500, run it in level 4 or 5, and get the 600 watt hour battery? This might be exactly what you're after in a bike.